Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done a couple of videos like this, but the man, the gentleman, was pretty persistent. He wanted just the outline of the bird to be able to cut out of this bird, and this is the photograph he sent me, and this is what he uh, traced, and it's missing a lot of the beak. He even drew circles to show me what it's missing, and so I thought I'd show him, and maybe you pick up a few points. We're going to go up to Bitmap, or we're going to go to resample and this picture is 300 dots per inch it's already a good quality picture but we need to crop it out Corel doesn't need to work with the whole picture it just needs the bird and just one word of when you're using the crop tool if you do not have your item selected when you crop it and then you double click on it you've lost everything else on the page so when you're ready to crop select your item then go to your crop tool and crop out the bird. Then you still have everything on your page. Now I've already done it and I've sized it down. Um, I just find it's easier for Corel to trace something that's smaller. It's going to take less time. So we're going to go to bitmap and we're going to look at resample and now it's at 600 dots per inch because we cropped it and we made it smaller. We're going to go to bitmap we're going to go to convert to bitmap. We're going to convert it to a grayscale. Then we're going to go to trace bitmap. And mine's right there. Yours might be under here. And we're going to go to outline trace. But I normally use clip art. But this item needs low quality image tracing. It's It makes quite a bit of difference. It leaves. It puts some more items in there. Now we're still losing part of the bird. So we'll slide the detail over it. It will retrace it, and now you have a much better bird. And especially because of the fact that we're just trying to get the... Um... So here's our new trace bitmap. It's pretty good. It's lost some details, but we can fix all this if we're just trying to get the outline. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on our item, and we're going to go up to a range, and we're going to group, and we're going to ungroup. And then I'm going to select the background. I'm going to hit delete. And as you can see, it's deleted some of those colors. But this isn't a problem. So we've got everything ungrouped. So let's start on this beak first. And all we're trying to do is get an even surface here. Just take your smooth tool and just move your nodes around until you have, basically you're building an outline. Doesn't matter what color it is. We'll pick this one right here and go up to the top. And this could cause a problem right here. But as long as that's touching and it might not be. So let's just take the shape tool and go a little bit further. That inside white doesn't matter. That could be fixed. I'm going to try to take as less time on the video as possible. And you could do this two ways. You could actually take a two-point line and put it between these lines. But I'm just going to show you this way today. We'll bring that out a little bit. Now let's add a node right there by double-clicking. Take that node and put it there. Drag that to there. And on a place like this, you could possibly just delete that and see what it looks like. Does it look so bad? We could take also, let's take the shape tool one more time and fill in this gap. And you could bring that all the way over here. Now, I don't like that, so let's just delete those nodes. Just take and select them all and hit delete. One more time and hit delete. Then you could bring this up. I don't particularly like that sharpness right there. And I could continue doing the rest of the bird. And maybe on this part of the wing, we'll actually use a two-point line. So let's just fix this part right here. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Let's just take that node and bring it all the way down to that part. And then that's, Basically, that's all closed out. Now, you could take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, but it's not really necessary. I just see one more little hiccup right here. We'll go ahead and delete that, and you could work a little bit on his feet. Uh, you could make it as perfect or, or as you like it. 
Now we're going to take the shape tool again. We're just going to close off that right there. Now, select everything and go right here to boundary. Take your boundary and just move it to the side. That's pretty good. It looks pretty good. It's got a few hiccups on his head, but you can still play around with it. You can take the shape tool and just delete these nodes. And if you're lucky enough to have the later versions, I think X8 and above, you can click on that line and smooth it out. And if you have the smoothing tool, in this case, it would be a big help. I see we have a little bit of a hiccup here. Let's get back to the shape tool. Let's just delete these nodes, delete these nodes, delete that node. Now what you can do with these two nodes is select them both, right click and put them to a line. Then I would always, if you have the smoothing tool, you could smooth those lines out and make it look quite a bit better. And you could do the smoothing tool everywhere on his body and, and make it look really, really much better. So now let's back up. And if you were just going to cut this out and you want to make sure there wasn't any leaks, you can take your smart fill tool. And now you have a vector cut or a engraving of that bird. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for